There's some people that I must perform a blood sacrifice with. Their names are Raiders. Oh, Vitor saying comrades. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm getting shot by a lot of bullets over here. Oh no. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Last Outer Survival. Today we return to boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the junkyard of brand new event added in to the season three update as we continue our coverage of all things season three. We're gonna be clearing this out and then a little bit after that, we're gonna be heading on home and creating a brand new workbench added in season three as well the pressing machine and some of the amazing things that this can be used for and including showing off some stuff about some new resources such as rubber and even lead so make sure you guys are staying tuned because those adventures begin today with us clearing out this junkyard event and seeing what awaits us i can already see a couple of armed raiders over here and this event in case you guys do not know does require a level 40 chopper to get into and interestingly enough it'll actually appear on the map as a rest stop event kind of like a chopper event but it will have a different name it will be called the junkyard so you can tell that it is indeed the location and along with that it will have the name of junkyard and we're gonna, gonna we're gonna go and clear it out here boys and girls and i think we can even get some parts for our atv over here like i think if luck is on our side we can even get like some car batteries which is an essential part for assembling the atv and making our way into the swamp which is currently our ultimate goal that we're gonna be striving towards every single day with everything that we do and make sure to check out that bubble that just popped up in the top right corner of the screen and tap on it for all of the season three videos that we have recorded thus far and the many more that are going to be coming your way so make sure you're subscribed with that notification bell hit plenty of adventures especially with the atv uh, coming but for now without further ado ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i welcome ye to what appears to be a raider infested junkyard and oh look at this we're being a little bit sneaky dicky here we got what appears to be two clusters of raiders that we have been able to identify so far. I feel like freaking James Bond up in here. Oh, I see green. I see green on the minimap. This is potentially an incredible sign. And also, this might be an incredible event, not just because look at all the treasure chests on the map. Oh my god, look at all the enemies too. I think we've I think we found 10 raiders so far. That guy looks like he has an AK in his hand. They're gonna have all of these rifles. What if we walk out of here with some guns, dude? What if this event becomes like the king of weapons and like they drops? I don't know. Without further ado, I think it's about time for us to go guns blazing and then begin the looting process. See you later, Raider Gator! It's your time to go, comrade. And okay, great, amazing, gramazing. New word invented. Hype levels through the roof. It's gramazing because hopefully these guys let's go indeed did drop some of their guns they are a little bit oh what did this guy just say thanks for your help your reward is in the chest oh hold up hold up i got a reward just for talking to a guy lying up against the tree can i chop down your tree that you're lying against actually hold on i can't, for the sake of science i kind of want to try that out but check it out since this is a chopper event they have all of these choppers scattered throughout here and that means there is loot awaiting for us i like the loot there is even some uh, gas that we could go ahead and siphon so i'll go ahead and glug 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 on a little bit of water and grab some of that we got to bring that back to our chopper to try to recuperate the cost of driving to this chopper event since it does appear on the minimap as a chopper event just a little bit more unique oh we need to be excuse me while i defecate and spread some vitamins in the middle of this junkyard i'm marking my territory look at me this is my junkyard now okay okay now i'm a little bit concerned to try and fight some of those raiders over at the top because there are four of them why don't we continue dispatching some of these fellers kind of kind of scattered throughout when they are in smaller numbers and i like the vss for dispatching these guys because we can take care of them from a decent distance but let's let, let's mix things up and get a little personal get away from that chest raider this chest over here i think that this might be the chest that he was talking about that could be my reward oh he's dropping an ak like the durability on these is kind of poopy but the good news for this event is that we can actually go and recycle these in our recycler we're not, we're not necessarily guaranteed to get anything good out of it since they are kind of like damaged goods so to speak but 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 they can level up our recycler level for recycling weapons which will help us when we recycle higher durability weapons and there's always a chance that we get lucky as well so it never hurts but i believe that this is the chest whoa that he was speaking of unfortunately no car battery that i see but look at the loot this is amazing this is new loot baby we got the cog we got three rubber parts even an engine part in there we got a freaking dog treat like 
there is some dang good stuff to pick up from this junkyard event and hopefully we can come across a junkyard event every single day since this is like the chopper event so it i mean if if the right one spawns because like kind of similar to how there are like three to four versions of the chopper event before this update this is kind of added in as an additional version so i think luck needs to be on our side in order for this to spawn but Okay, I'm actually scared. Is this going to set off an alarm if we open this? Because I remember back in the gas station, opening some cars would cause alarms. Okay, nothing so far. Although, all the gas I'm getting, you love to see it, baby. That's the type of gas that I love. Not like the gas I've been encountering in Bunker Bravo. That has been quite the struggle. And in case you guys haven't already, by the way, make sure you guys would check out. Whoa! And there's steel at this event. Oh my god. I love you. I love you, Junkyard. I think, okay, new favorite event. I have declared it. Let it be known that this from now on, this is my new go-to event. Shopper events. I mean, ah, listen, there's more. Oh! Okay, the Raiders do not seem to realize that one of the cars in their park is setting off the most obnoxious alarm in history. Those guys over there, they're like, oh yeah, that's just Travis trying to hotwire the old taxi. Yeah, yeah, Travis is definitely not dead over here. Don't know what you're talking about. Why is he holding onto his mouth? Are you eating something, Travis? Get that out of your mouth. Fool. Freaking get out of there, bruv. But, uh, yo, any updates, man? You still good? Um. You know? Yeah, I don't know. He's got a tree. He'll be fine. Now then, dude, the fact that we got a freaking... And there's still more loot to go. And the dude... I don't know how good this loot can get. But I... I okay. Ugh. Uh, let's go and take out the next cluster of raiders before we move forward with this. Yeah, I don't know how good this loot can get, man, but, like, the fact that we've gotten some really amazing loot out of this so far, I'm gonna be doing my best to come across this event every single time that a chopper event appears. I'm gonna wait for this to hopefully be the one that does spawn, and I'll show you guys what I mean on the, uh, whatchamacall. Oh, I barely used any gas to get here. Wow. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer on our part, because now I gotta have some, I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just we have to have more inventory room for these freaking things. So it's kind of like a tit for tat type of situation. But yeah, the new rubber materials that we got and the cogs are definitely some of the highlights out of this. And this is making it a must cop for me. Bless up that I was chasing that stupid Leviathan skin for my chopper, which I don't even use because this Batmobile is way too sick, my guy. Speaking of chopper skins, by the way, dude, this one over here, the Enduro, actually looks pretty freaking hype. We're going to be copping premium sometime here. And, uh, well, we're going to be showing that off a little bit. But along with that, there is another over here at level 25, the Bayou. Dude, when we start going to the swamp, Actually, psych, we can't go to the swamp with the motorcycle, so... Sorry, Bayou. At that point, we will have the ATV unlocked, which... Oh, my God, dude, I still need that in my life. But, okay, enough shenanigans. I'm gonna go save my man from the tree he's lying against because I, I kind of just want to see what happens. <laughs> Does this make me a bad person? Nah, he's a raider. Well, actually, no, I think he was being held hostage by the raiders. Either way, listen, buddy, I am here to save the day. That's right, that tree that's holding you hostage, no worries. I got you. Oh, watch out, man. No, he's good. Okay, now he just has a stump. Whatever you say, my guy. All right, enough shenanigans. We got the rest of this place that we got to go and clear out. Let's get to it. But yeah, I'll show you guys what the junkyard event does look like on the uh, mini map as well here in a second. So you guys can be kind of aware of what to expect out of it. Because at first, I didn't know what to expect. And I kind of like missed one of the junkyard events, which still is just not good news for me. But see you later, Raider Gators. It's your time to go. I'm sorry, man. These for this freaking faction. Oh, can you drop me some guns or something, bro? Appreciate it, man. Thank you kindly. I cannot wait to recycle all these when we get home. We got a motorcycle over here that they've been posting up at and nothing uber incredible or anything like that. But there is always gas. And like I said, this ain't like the Bunker Bravo gas we've been dealing with lately. Which, by the way, in case you guys have not already, it should be popping up in the top right corner of the screen. If you guys tap on that bubble, you should be able to see some of our Bunker Bravo exploits and all of the floor that we have managed to clear so far because wow let me just say that has been quite a adventure ha having to do all of that actually i'll just toss the freaking hatchet back in there yeah that's been quite the adventure having to do all of that bunker bravo it's not easy bro it's not easy but i mean we gotta do what we gotta do i don't care how much loot i gotta blow through because the bunker bravo is gonna be key in us assembling that atv especially with some of the parts we're gonna be getting down there so doesn't matter man i will sacrifice anything and everything that i can except todd the salmon that man back at base, he's also off limits. I will do to get the ATV, brother. Speaking of which, there's some people 
that I must perform a blood sacrifice with. Their names are Raiders. Oh, Vitor Saint Comrades. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm getting shot by a lot of bullets over here. Oh no, they're doing a lot of damage now because of the fact that I am butt naked. No, 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 dude, I hit you. I, 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 no, no, no. Okay, no, 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 no. Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Why did that happen? No, no, no. That is illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. That's illegal. All right, boys and girls, we are hauling the utmost of booty back to the junkyard, which, by the way, this is what it looks like on the map when you do see it. As you guys can see, it literally says junkyard at the top instead of like the usual rest stop or whatever. So I'm hauling the utmost of booty over there. I died with the tactical backpack and uh, yeah, I need to get my vengeance. Luckily, that guy was pretty close to being dead. So naked star will prevail. Pinky promise. Dude, oh my God, this is terrifying. I, I would like bless off that we came to this thing so early because if not, we could have been in big trouble. Also, give me them clothes. I need, I need to put, I need to toss freaking something on. Do you people not have pantalones? Oh my god, this with the uncivilization, bruv. Okay, what's up, last dude alive? Goodbye, last dude alive. Literally 10 health away, brother. 10 health away, brother. Ooh, shiny. That's okay. I'll deal. I'll, I'll take I'll take her on the chin there. And uh, we'll just do our best to move forward and pass this awful tragedy. Tragedy. Tra tra no. Tra tragedy. Did that just one of them words, man? That's one of them words. It'll lose your tongue. A tongue twister is what I believe it, it, it gets called. I do not think that tragedy... Yes, tragedy, right? Tragedy. I don't think that's technically a tongue twister, but that's besides the point. It's just one of the words that trips me up, man. Everyone's got those words that trip them up. Like my girlfriend, my lovely bebe. She used to call paninis pananis. Bless her soul. I love her, man. But okie dokie. With that, let's go and drink up the rest of this water. Let's get that little bit more of the empty ones there. And we don't have enough, uh, whatchamacallit, enough bottles to siphon the rest of this. But so be it, man. So be it. We're going to have to roll with the punches on this one. Let's try and open up this taxi cab. Dude, can we get any more steel out of this event? Because the fact that we even got one steel out of this event is huge man like seriously finding steel like that especially out of an event that like hopefully will be spawning once a day and like all in all it's not like this is not an unreasonable event to do man like oh and we got some souvenirs like this engine over here that we can toss on the back of our chopper and bring her on home oh my man your tree has disappeared are you doing okay i wonder if i could kill that guy if i had some grenades uh unfortunately i mean fortunately for you my friend i only have dog treats so Unless you want some Scooby Snacks. What, would you take like an heir to the knee or something? Are you like Peter Griffin? Ah, ah, punts! There we go, we cooking, baby. Yeah, yeah, the whole, uh, actually, I'll toss on some of the SWAT armor that I come across too whenever I do. Might as well, but okie dokie. Enough shenanigans, this place should be cleared out. Oh, it's an alarm. Funny yoke, nobody cares, Mr. Carr, and... Man, this is just nice. Also, I don't really care about that wood. I just want to chop down his tree. I might throw a little like that. And I will also go and toss one of these guns into that backup slot. And then I do want to pick up some rubber parts. And you guys are going to see why rubber parts have a decent amount of value in my eyes all of a sudden. And I <laughs> rubber parts are going to be big. I need to stockpile them as soon as possible. And what kind of engine is this, by the way? Another normal one. I'm hoping that maybe we can find one of the blue engines here. But also another great thing about this event is that if you come prepared, it looks like that there may very well be some, uh, some, some stuff. Oh, I can still loot this thing up. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, there could be some things awaiting you. What do we have here? Eh, nothing besides annoying noises and janky. Get him up, Bella. But uh, I think we've looted up pretty much all the loot here. But yeah, the fact that you can actually like salvage up some freaking engines like that. And if you're lucky, maybe even get your hands on like a blue engine, which is even rare. That's a really nice touch. Like, I'm not going to lie, because we could actually go and turn those into Jane. I imagine she wouldn't be too against, you know, getting some engine parts. But alrighty, without further ado, I'm 99% sure, even with my goldfish memory, that we have looted up everything that this event has to offer. The Junkyard! I pronounce you cleared, my friend. Now, let me just go in, ride through here. Hello, can you get off? I gotta claim me one of these engine parts. Might as well, dude. Not engine parts, but an engine, because, like, might as well. Like, if we're here, I'm gonna be trying to whoop, go in and pick one of them puppies up. And alrighty, I'd say it's about time that we uh, exit stage left. Our time here has come to a close. Let's go do a little bit of a drive around, though. A little, little victory lap for the awesome sauce run we had. 
of the junkyard and the fact that I am not visiting this every time we can because like like I said if we're lucky we have a chance of getting a car battery here which is gonna be huge on its own but then on top of that baby on top of that on top of that on top of that there's also the chance that we get like some steel and some other components that are gonna be pretty useful in the grand scheme of things for getting our ATV up and running like uh, what you call some of the rubber and uh, the cog that I put into my chopper for safekeeping because actually like even if we died and lost our stuff there everything that we put into our chopper would have stayed so a little bit of a foolproof plan over there with the minor caveat that I would have died but that's besides the point and we're back at our base ladies and gentlemen where we're gonna be making some huge renovations as we prepare for the brand new workbench added into this update as well say hello to my little friend the pressing machine which turns things into others due to pressure and it's not like it's a it's a pretty crafty thing to craft I don't know man it's 15 steel plates 10 wrenches which can definitely be a pain to get sometimes and gun oil along with a and hammers hammers are pretty dang important in this update make sure that you're stockpiling them if you haven't already without further ado let's learn the pressure machine let's craft it oh there we go let's craft it up and let's toss it down and i believe it actually needs to be tossed down on iron floors it needs to go on a metal floor this is an end game workbench if we have ever seen one and look at it take it all in the pressing machine and all of its glory star what why are you approaching the pressing machine with the valuable car batteries that you got from your bunker bravo run that you guys should totally check out if you haven't already well 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 it's because the pressing machine actually the pressing machine has nothing to do with these never mind i was thinking of something else but uh, uh, we'll come back to the car batteries because they do tie into lead in a a frightening way but welcome to the pressing machine this is a machine that is going to be huge for a couple of things and we're going to be breaking those down right here and right now interestingly enough you can actually use it to straight up process scrap metal i'm, I'm going over the least interesting thing first well it gets much interesting after this if you guys can't already tell uh, you can process scrap metal straight into iron so it's kind of cool you can use this as like an all-in-one where instead of like having to melt your scrap iron and then put it into like a, like a workbench or something just toss it in the pressing machine and it'll poop out some iron plates so honestly if you don't have a lot of rubber or other things that are going to be making much more valuable things out of the pressing machine then this ain't a shabby thing to be tossing into there but let's move on to the next big thing let's go on with the thing that we can currently craft rubber this is the key to being able to craft our very own rubber i know i know so check it out and also by the way i know some of you guys might be insulted star you move your kitchen stove for the pressing machine uh yeah the pressing machine has to be infinitely more visible because this thing is gonna be i'm sorry stove i'll give you some love baby but for now we got some bigger things it's a press we got some more pressing matters ah! I'm gonna go I'm, I'm 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 jumping out my window I'm sorry <laughs> sorry your ears had to hear that but nah no 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 I'm st I'm staying inside the windows it's cold outside but check it out we plop 20 rubber parts in and unt I repeat unt hour later one rubber will be pooped out this pressing machine is one of the only way this is the only way of creating your own rubber as we've seen rubber can be gotten from a couple of the crates within bunker bravo we saw that it's obtainable in the junkyard i still have to go and clear out some of the existing locations like the police station and uh what should we call bunker alpha and even check out the floppy disk all of which we are going to be doing to see if any of the new resources can be found in those but we know for a fact that it's found in the junkyard which requires a level 40 chopper it's found in bunker bravo which is not the easiest it's not exactly a pushover and then here this is the one way that after you craft a pretty expensive bench you can actually create it with the help of rubber parts something that's much more common and it's gonna be a great way of getting those extra supplies no bamboozles and check it out one rubber right there and right now but that leads me to the next thing and that next thing is lead lead plates if you guys have checked out the bunker bravo clearing videos or something you might be familiar with it's something that i want really badly because once we get 15 lead plates guess what becomes possible we can activate the terminal in bunker bravo that opens up secret rooms that look like they're filled with loot and i wonder how good that loot's gonna be because lead is not cheap currently the only way that i know of to get lead 
Well, well, well. That is, uh, oh, sorry over here. I'm recycling some of my extra heat sensors because they freaking do. They poop out steel bars at a decent rate and they give me high tech components and I have way too many of them. So uh, steel bars and those are going to come very in handy with throughout this update. So I'm getting ready with some extra heat sensors. I know, I know, but ah, this is going to be painful. I'm only going to put one in there, but for the sake of science, look at it. Every 10 minutes, you can recycle a car battery. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if I want to recycle my car batteries until one certain thing gets met. Because, like, this ATV here, right? Uh, it requires 60 car batteries for completion and 250 rubber. Like, a lot of things that we gotta invest a lot of parts into. But besides that, we're looking pretty good on engine parts. I think we'll be fine on cogs. It'll be a struggle, but Bunker Bravo is gonna help with our carbon composites. Bunker Bravo is gonna be huge for getting our gas cylinders up. ATV transmissions, I think, will be the ultimate bottleneck, but I'm not resting until this ATV is freaking built, y'all. I'm hopefully trying to be one of the first people to build it for you guys and gals. Make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. Bigger things are coming, to say the least. But yeah, we need a lot of car batteries, and, uh, well, we got... How many car batteries did we get? I think we got, like, four or something from clearing out Bunker Bravo, so... As much as I'd love to clear this, because it also has a chance of giving us acid, another resource that we got out of Bunker Bravo, in addition to, uh, whatchamacallit, the chance at a lead plate. Currently, this is the only way I know of to acquire a lead plate that we have access to. However, the pressing machine gives us a interesting look into how else we might be able to create lead through a brand new raw resource, soft metal with useful features. Usually new resources are found in new zones. As we know, after the ATV is crafted, the entire new western zone filled with swamp zones is going to become available. And guess what? It's likely that lead is going to be one of the new materials and resources found there. Meaning that once we get the ATV unlocked... Yeah. Ah, death! That's not what I like to see. I got to freaking find some water. I'll do that in a second. I'm monologuing right now. That's all I ever do, to be honest. Uh... What should we call? We got the lead plate over here, and yeah. Once we do get that ATV crafted up, it's going to be huge because, like, this pressing machine will pretty much allow us to turn the raw resources of the swamp into useful lead plates. And let's really quickly take a look at what those lead plates are capable of doing because they got some value lots. Uh, nothing over there. I know that it's used actually in building hazmat armor. So once we build the swamp and the ATV, Bunker Bravo will become easier to clear in a sense because the hazmat helmet, which I'll be showing off in a future video, so make sure you guys are subscribed with that notification bell hit to stay tuned. Like I'm saying, we're covering all that we can about freaking about this. But uh, back to what I was saying, it'll let you actually craft up your own hazmat armor which obviously has the big benefit of you don't need to rush through Bunker Bravo. You can take your time because this will keep you safe from the radiation that ultimately scares us to death to be exact so we got that to look forward to and i also believe the car battery is another thing that you can craft acid is a raw resource you've been getting from bunker bravo and lead plates are obviously something we can get from the swamp so eventually we might be able to craft even more car batteries and i assume that means they might come in handy or even be useful in uh future future things that we might need to craft so definitely something we want to look into and then speaking of other interesting things this hydroponic system i want to freaking that looks like a new farm or something man i seriously want to check that out but besides that i think that's the main things that lead does go towards not a lot at the moment but definitely some interesting stuff and definitely some stuff worth getting hype over and we got to build that freaking atv and swamp man like I, I can't actually build a swamp i'm not a swampographer but you know what I mean. And hold up, let's just bless this pressing machine for all of the best pressing that we can imagine. Dude, I can even start my own hydraulic press channel. Oh my God, my post-apocalyptic survivor. I can start my own YouTube post-apocalyptic channel. That hydraulic press channel is popping for a while, guys. I'm just saying, we might be onto something here, but definitely something that we are gonna be doing is trying to, uh, whatchamacallit, build that ATV get to the swamp and assemble tons of lead and then there's also this interesting here called fuel briquettes i might be pronouncing that wrong i don't know but it's called a powerful fuel made from peat and peat can produce a great fuel i imagine we get peat from the swamp zones as well and this might be kind of like super charcoal or something so that could power some of our furnaces for a long time which will help us produce things a lot more consistently looking at you steel bars because i need a lot more of you speaking of which let me just go and actually toss these over into our workbench hello trophy room how do you do and continue producing those because those plates are going to be bay 
Let's go ahead and start producing some aluminium plates as well. And, uh, oh, let's toss these freaking heat sensors back into here because I need more. I'll probably get some more heat sensors to toss into there too. Don't want to get rid of too many because there are some turrets at Fort Moss that we need to repair with those things. And let's just make sure that we go ahead and toss some of these into there so we can hopefully continue getting lots of steel. And if luck is on our side, high-tech components as well. Bless up for those heat sensors. They finally have a purpose. Helping me pad my freaking steel supply. Something that is going to be much needed with this update if we want to show off all that it has to offer and speaking of which why don't we go and make our way over to that dock the pond that decided to make an appearance let's get a little bit of fishing in it's a new thing that season three did bring and it's a new thing that we can go and check out right over here at the fishing spot so let's make our way over and from there well, I don't know. The fun times are plenty to come, but seriously, guys, there's so much stuff we gotta cover. Speaking of fishing, by the way, there is, uh, whatchamacallit, I do wanna cover, by the way, this fisherman's pack. We're gonna be making a video on this as well. The hat, I think that's just a cool hat. I don't know if it actually makes you a better fisherman or something, but this fishing rod, they apparently have a professional fishing rod. Catching any fish is no big deal. I'm interested to see what this fisherman's pack is about and what that professional fishing rod might be like. Not to mention the burly that we could use as well to regenerate the fish within a pond. Because currently, we can actually finish fishing a pond where all the fish will be gone, so. So, gonna be interested to take a look at that. Like, so many videos I still want to cover. There's a reason we've been double uploading a little bit, guys and gals, and those double uploads will probably continue for a little while. So, make sure you guys are staying tuned for that. And let me know in that comment section down below what you guys are looking forward to the most in this season what has you guys most excited so far out of everything that we've covered maybe some of the stuff that we haven't covered like the atv and swamp what do you guys think of the junkyard which you got the opportunity to finally check out today and we got to make sure we're visiting that thing every single time man that's going to be our new go-to event and an awesome one it is let me know all that type of jazz in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly no into the weekly 25 dollar i do touch place store gift card Give away. All you gotta do as well is make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe, that'll let you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week, pick a random comment from that random video, and they'll be the winner for the week, and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell hit to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter. Woo! We got the golden perch that y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway. Not to mention all the amazing last day on earth videos that are coming your guys' way, especially all this new season three stuff that we're checking out for the first time our conquest towards the atv like dude that is seriously like every every morning when i wake up i'm just scheming i'm like okay what do we do how do we get that atv faster and fort moss by the way is gonna be a big thing nice the silver perch fort moss is gonna be huge for us to get that as well obviously we also want to make sure that we progress and do as many tasks as possible because well there's an atv transmission awaiting us at the end a pretty cool ghillie suit of armor that i want to make a video on some freaking gas cylinders and car batteries on the way like dude this is the update that we go ham egg and cheese on this is the update we've been waiting for and i i i, I don't want to wait anymore man the fact that the atv in the swamp is here we just gotta oh let's go another golden fish we just got to freaking get all the stuff necessary for it. Oh my. We're doing anything and everything that we can for it. And woo, we got the perch. But speaking of things that we can and or cannot do for it, the gas cylinder is an interesting one because I think the only ways of getting the gas cylinder are doing Fort Moss stuff, a couple in the season pass, and Bunker Bravo. Besides that, I don't think there's any other ways. Unless maybe they have a chance of spawning in the junkyard, which would be freaking 10 out of 10. Oh no, dude, this is a tricky fishy. Oh, no, 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 fishy, come on. I know you like to play tricks, but no, 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 no more trick or treating. No, 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 just treats for my belly. Especially after turn you all into some delicious freaking cooked foods back at the base. Oh, I see all sorts of fishies in here. Oh, look at them jump. Oh, aren't you cute fishies? You're going to look even cuter when I make you into a beautiful filet. Oh, my God, this fish is not about becoming a filet. Come on, baby, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. Give me back that filet of fish. Let's go. A little bit longer. I'm a little bit scared that he's... Yep, yeah, he's about to do some evasive maneuvers. He went to freaking fishy, fishy training school. This might be the salmon. I think the salmon tends to have like a tricky uh, flight path. Not flight path, but whatever path. Yep. I knew it. My man Todd. He's giving me the secrets, man. Todd the Golden Salmon. Bless his soul. I heard that Todd the Golden Salmon actually once saved a family from a fire. That is right. They, they crashed their car into the pond and it set on fire. And Todd the Salmon came with a fireman's hat on and a fire extinguisher and, and he put the dang thing out and the family 
They were so thankful, so thankful that they gave Todd a little golden star right on his flipper. And that's why we identified Todd as the gold star fish. And there, there's today's little Todd fishing story. Every time we fish, I got to spread a little bit of the love about the mythical Todd. And okie dokie, I believe this is the last fish of the pond. Now, Todd, Todd taught me a little maniacal secret. Actually, I'm kind of convinced Todd is a psychopath after he taught me this one. But hey, listen. It's not my fault he told me that I could get a lot of fishies from this one simple trick doctors don't want you to know about, or fishermen don't want you to know about. Once there is one fish left in the pond, it is time to use our patented, uh, Pokeballs. This is definitely a Pokeball, and I'm just trying to catch a Magikarp. 100%. Yeah, toss the Pokeball into there, and... Woo! Look at that! Look at that, guys! I think we caught Pikachu! 100%. I'm convinced. <laughs> but look at it. All of the extra fishies that decide to surface. There was one fish left, but once we toss that nade in, look at all the fish that we got. Three more salmon and even a pike. This gives us a nice little mix of fish to work with and actually a very interesting use for our grenades because I've been stockpiling grenades forever. I always get yelled at by you guys like, Star, why do you care so much about grenades when you don't use them? This is why they're still valuable, even if I wasn't using them a lot. I mean, they're still a 200 damage weapon, and I was just saving them for the right time. And somehow fishing decided to be like, oh yeah, we'll let grenades be a glorified fishing rod, 100%. So uh, yeah, grenades are not going to be my go-to because I can pretty much trade in one grenade for like four fish. And honestly, with the buffs that these fish can give, low-key kind of worth it, man. I don't know. Oh, and actually, really good idea, too. I just realized this dock actually has edible mushrooms kind of scattered throughout. That's a really big deal because edible mushrooms are going to be an important part of cooking these fish into very advanced recipes on the stove that we were showing off next to our pressing machine. Dude, I love the fact that we got new workbenches in this update. Man, it's freaking amazing. But uh, what should we call? Mushrooms are actually one of the ingredients you can include in some of your recipes and they will help you create some really good stuff So whenever you come across the freaking mushrooms, especially at like an oak event like the oak dock event like this I'd say it's worth picking it up berries too actually But like both of these are things that can't come in handy and if you bring a hatchet which by the way we did there's even a little bit of oak awaiting you like even though this is like the main draw of this is obviously the fish there's a couple of nice little like bonus presents you get here, man. Like I'm never gonna turn down oak unless it's a raid and I have better things to pick up. But like, listen, if I got a if I got room in my inventory and I got a chance to get me some oak logs, 10 out of 10 would get that wood again. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go to start wrapping it up for this episode of Last Outer Survival. Plenty more season three stuff coming your guys' way. Make sure you subscribe with that notification bell hit. I cannot wait to continue our coverage. We, of course, are constantly working towards the ATV that has become our new goal that every day I want to progress to, and I wanna build this thing ASAP. So we're gonna be clearing out Bunker Bravo constantly as soon as it respawns. But on top of the Bunker Bravo respawnitude, well, we're also going to be covering all the new things that this update did bring and show those off as well. So plenty of fun time coming your guys' way. Make sure to subscribe with that notification bell hit. It's lit. Stay tuned. But that's going to go to start wrapping it up. For me for now. Thank you guys a whole thing for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.